despite his denial of any involvement in Ukrainian crisis and repeated criticism of Russian media, U.S. Assistant Secretary of European Affairs Victoria Newland now admits that the U.S. State Department has nearly doubled its funding for its Russian language propaganda programs since the beginning of the Ukrainian crisis. Speaking before the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee on Tuesday, Newman said that the State Department is vastly increasing its budget for battling what she calls the Kremlin's pervasive propaganda campaign, poisoning minds across Russia, on Russia's periphery and across Europe. This year, the Broadcasting Board of Governors is committing $23.2 million to Russian language programming, Newman told the committee. A 49% increase since fiscal year 2014. The State Department is also requesting an additional 20 million, which would ramp up efforts to counter lies with truth. It expands Russian named propaganda budget more than 100%. The money will be used for a variety of purposes. According to Nguyen's testimony, part of the funds will be used to support student exchange programs and promote civil watchdog groups but much of the money will be also used to counter Russian propaganda through training for Russian-speaking journalists, as well as providing access to so-called fact-based news outlets. In addition to the increased BBG budget, Congress has already authorized $10 million to support Russian language media throughout Eastern Europe. The authorization was given through the Ukrainian Freedom Support Act. This isn't the first time the US has mentioned its expanding investment in propaganda. Last month, US Secretary of State John Kerry asked the House Appropriations Subcommittee for more money to counter what he sees as negative influence of Russian media.